If you constantly miss in CS2, I'm going to show you guys one tip that will help you guys to never miss again while you're trying to shoot in game. I see a lot of people in my high level 10 basic pugs where they're just kind of running around just shooting and just missing every shot, not even trying to aim. But I'm going to show you guys the tip that will actually guarantee you guys don't ever miss a shot again. And it'll actually help you guys so much that you won't even really have to try to aim. You'll just literally have to move your mouse and press one button on your keyboard. So if you guys want to know that tip, make sure you guys watch the the full video but before i go into that tip if you guys want any cool skins like i have in my inventory right here make sure you guys check out the sponsor of this video skins monkey today's sponsor is skins monkey skins monkey is a cs2 skins trading site and marketplace that provides an instant way to get new skins my favorite thing about skins monkey is that i can trade skins that i no longer want and trade it for a skin that is equal value if you use code louis cs2 you get a five dollar bonus on your first trade if you want to buy skins, you can get a 30% deposit bonus plus an extra 5% using my code. The link is down in the description. So you guys might be asking what could this tip possibly be because there's not really a lot of things that are very secretive in Counter-Strike, but it's something that I actually learned from Donk. If you guys watch a lot of Donk, you actually probably understand the fundamentals of the mechanics that he's mastered. And if you don't want to miss and you want to play maybe like Donk where you're just, you know, tapping heads wherever you go, the one thing that you want to work on is your crosshair placement and counter strafing now i know a lot of people bring this up but you might be asking louie why would i want to work on those things well let's say for example if i just ran around the map at head level like this just aiming there's really not much i have to do with moving my mouse i don't need to be moving it up or down or anything if i'm just staying at head level i'm pretty much guaranteed a free kill if i can just master keeping my crosshair at this level a lot of pro players you'll watch them they are almost very good at just keeping their crosshair at this level and it's because they have a good anchor point Point on their mouse pad so for example for me like i have an anchor point right here i always make sure that this part of my hand is always on my mouse pad because what this does is it helps me move my mouse left to right very easily and then I have this good anchor point where I'm not moving my mouse up and down. I see a lot of newbie players when they try to move left to right they're always like a little wavelength it almost looks like or maybe they're like trying to snap like this like they're trying to draw a picture and it just doesn't work out because they're constantly trying to flick to a head when in reality all you have to really do in counter strike is just flick from left to right. Now there is some instances where if I'm you know coming to clear con and I have to flick down to this guy that's literally whatever pretty much on every single map it's literally just moving your crosshair left to right and you want to make sure you have that good anchor point on your mouse like i showed now you can have your anchor point you know maybe on this side of your hand or maybe this side it really depends on how you hold your mouse so it is all preference but finding that anchor point will really help your crosshair placement because then you're just going to be moving left to right and you're not going to be making those little wavelengths so this video pretty much has two tips combined into one so it can help you guys you know not miss a lot in game but the other tip that i did mention earlier was counter strafing and that is very important because if you can master keeping your crosshair at a head level if you can instantly counter strafe and stop to shoot as soon as you know obviously the enemy is right on top of your crosshair you'll be able to kill very quickly because in counter strike you want to master the time to kill because if you can kill someone obviously faster than what they can kill you then you're gonna win your 1v1 duels pretty much 99% of the time unless you just get cs2 would and then the bullet goes through them, which definitely happens a lot but there really isn't a secret to counter strafing i know if you watch donkey's very quick to counter counter strafe and it's just something that you have to work on it's just mastering aim bots or doing little drills like this where you're just going back and forth just really mastering that and then you can go and practice like clearing angles if you want i know what i do is i call it theory craft where i just kind of put myself in situations and i'll practice just clearing angles like if i'm retaking the b site maybe i think it's a 2v1 you know i'm here practicing like hitting these counter strafes and i'm getting used to the map getting used to where i want to put my crosshair getting used to where i want to stop and then i'm always going to be ready for someone to be you know let's say van pillar or maybe on bench i can jump out i can scan default because it's very important to always keep your crosshair on the side of the wall like this so when i'm clearing as soon as i see him i can just stop and shoot because i see a lot of people that like to pre-aim as well like if i want to pre-aim someone on default this guy could just be randomly swinging me and then if i'm pre-aiming and he's swinging me and i'm here then i have to adjust to him but he's already just clearing me like this and then he's gonna kill me a lot faster that's also another thing as well but i think one thing that can help you with counter strafing playing a lot of retake servers after you do something like this where you want to theory craft even if you want to come out you know be sight and just practice clearing these angles like this it's pretty much just like a fake pre-fire map but you're just really getting used to where you want to put your crosshair when you are coming out onto a site because it is very good to practice your entry pathing even if you want to do 
do it up towards top mid where you're just coming and strafing and you just want to practice just tapping making sure you're very very fast to react and that will definitely improve your time to kill it'll prove your counter strafing it'll improve your crosshair placement it'll just help you always imagine if an enemy will be in front of you because if you did watch the new podcast that sponge is on called talking counter elise actually talks about where he imagines how people will peek him so he's always thinking like okay if this guy's gonna peek me here he's probably gonna wide swing so i'm gonna hold wider and he always has good crosshair placement and he actually stole that from donk because donk is so good at predicting how people are going to peek him so that is also something to keep in mind if you are struggling with you know just constantly missing or maybe you're whiffing a lot those are the tips that i have for you just really try to find an anchor point on your mouse under your thumb or if it's on the right side of your palm maybe you hold your mouse you know in a weird way like this and you you know whatever i don't know I've, I've seen some really weird things out there that will definitely help you improve keeping your crosshair at a good level and you're not going to be randomly flicking your mouse around because obviously if you have that anchor point it's really hard to lose where your mouse is and you will be able to aim a lot better i think counter strafing is just drilling it so make sure you guys are drilling it but if you want to get a good idea on how you should be placing your crosshair while you're in games make sure you guys go watch a pov demo on youtube there's a lot of good youtube channels a lot of people have been uploading donk right now and he actually has the best crosshair placement in the tier one scene at the moment so he's definitely someone that you should go and watch but hopefully these tips did help you guys and if you have any criticism for me make sure you guys comment down below and i will respond to it because i respond to all my comments make sure you guys hit that like button on the video and subscribe to the channel for some daily cs2 content and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out